Welcome to our continuous series of 1 to 3 sync on how to run it in the background. This section will deal how to run it using a window shortcut. A window shortcut is an icon on wind in Windows that you double click and then it runs a program. So the 1 to 3 sync engine, which is what we call the piece that does all the synchronization, can be executed directly by a window shortcut or from Windows Explorer by simply double clicking. The name of it is 123 Sync 2012 Server and then with the ACT build number right after it so that you can identify this on the installation folder which Sync Engine you should be using for your particular version of ACT. So for ACT version 2012 hotfix 1 you'd have 114.1 as the sync engine number the sync engine resides on the 123 sync installation where on the program files on the 123 sync 2012 so from there you can actually find it and then you can execute it when executing the sync engine the default directory must be where, the, where it resides. In our case, that would be on the program files 123 sync 2012. So there's a couple of parameters that you can pass to the sync engine. If you don't pass any parameters, that indicates to it that it should run silent. Uh, so there's no, you won't get any prompts, and whatever prompts you get it from the interactive sync here it's assumed that you answer yes so it does all that and it's like running the full sync in the background if you pass it a minus i for interactive this will basic this will tell the sync engine to behave in an interactive mode which is how the one two three sync manual the interface that's how he calls the sync engine so you'll get the status uh, screen plus the the prompts to sync or not and then at the end a status of the whole sync uh, process. There's a couple of safeguards on the sync engine. If one sync engine is already running uh, and you double click on it again the, the, the second sync engine uh, instantiation will not run. It will basically exit. So what we're trying to do is just one, run one sync at one time. Let's look at an example here. Uh, we're using Act 14.1. So, if you want to run uh, the executable, the sync engine in the background, you just basically call the sync engine with the 14.1 extension, and that would run it in the background. If you want to run it interactive, you run it 14.1 uh, with a minus i for interactive. And always make sure when you set up. Um, shortcuts that you actually set up the default folder as being where 123 sync is installed. If uh, most shortcuts do that automatically, but if you use a software to set up shortcuts, the default folder should always be the where 123 sync is installed. Now, there's other methods to run 123 sync. Uh, now that we've espouse the way of running it interactively or sh or through a shortcut you can uh, create batch files that you call 123 sync or you can actually have it uh, go through the windows scheduler or the, the windows task manager where you set the default folder you can set up a timer on it and then um, and then basically just call the executable just make sure when you do the scheduler like uh, on the windows service that you use the the same username and password that you use when you set up 123 sync so you got to log in as that particular user and then run the scheduler don't run it as a as a different user because that's not going to work so just to finalize our example Let's go to our beautiful sailing screen here and you right click and you say new just go shortcut and the shortcut is telling you where do you want the shortcut what is the items just click on browse just go to the computer and go down scroll down to 
um, the program files on the program files click on 123 sync 2012 and we're running act 14.1 so the act 2012 with the latest patch so that would be the one so you click on that so now you have that there so that's your sync that's your sync command and then just uh, call it uh, 123 sync background and I just click on finish so now you're all set so that basically will run it in the background so now if you want to create an interactive mode one just do this very similar thing just create a shortcut bring it back here from the shortcut we just click on browse again same thing so just go to the program files where are the program files here's program files 2012 select 14.1 and then well, you go there and then just add the parameter minus i so now you have an interactive version of the software so you're going to want one two three sync interactive and finish and voila so if i cl double click here you'll see here's the interactive mode of the of the processing so now it will tell me what it's doing and how it's running well it will just close well if i do a sync here it will just run it in the background and the same sync is running in the background